The brother's supposed to marry the sister. That's not our heritage. Again, we read it before. We were discontinued for what? Our heritage. Right. Boyfriend, girlfriend, banging. That's a heathenish custom. That's, that's right. not an Israelite custom. Because the daughter, you know where the daughter gonna be at? Daddy house. See that going on with us now? Hell no. Because you an Israelite. We got a way to go. Hold that, go to Hebrews 13 and 4. I'm going to show you something. Read that. Watch this. Hebrews 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. If you're not married having sex, what is God calling you? Okay. Huh? A who? What is God calling you? A whoremonger. The Lord said that's not pretty in his sight. Right. That don't look right because we're supposed to be married. This bro the brother's supposed to marry the sister. So if y'all having sick sex and y'all not joined through marriage, that's fornication. That's not that's not our heritage. Again, we read it before. We were discontinued from what? Our heritage. Right. Boyfriend, girlfriend, banging, that's a heathenish custom. That's, that's right. not an Israelite custom. Because we're supposed to be a nation of kings. What king just lets his, his princess just bang whatever do? Hell no. That's not go down, but watch this. I'm going to tell you why the law brought this law. Watch this. Read it back. Go back to uh, uh, the law on Exodus. Watch. Exodus 22 and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid... You know why it says that? We're not supposed to be doing that. A man not supposed to be enticing no maid. You know why? Because the daughter, you know where the daughter going to be at? Daddy house. That's right. Why? Who the hell are you talking to on the phone? I got to meet the man. Who's his father? Did he keep commandments? You ain't going to marry that man if his father's smoking weed. You ain't going to marry that man if his father got a boy, a girlfriend. That's why back then we never did that. We had to know who we was giving our daughter to. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to just come up in the crib. The women didn't even have their own place. Right. The women lived with the father. Right. The only time a woman left the house is when she was going to a house that she's going to spend the rest of her life with, which is another holy man. That's right. But our sisters are not doing that. Let me ask you this. When our sisters go to college, they're dorming, right? What are they doing in them dorms? Getting the back blown out. Tell me right or wrong. Yes, because that's not our custom. Right. You put a sister out there and you give her that liberty, bro, you, 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 you testing waters. What do you think she's going to end up probably doing? Maybe not our sisters. But it's very few, our sisters who come out of college are virgins. What's that school, Prairie? What's that school, Prairie? Prairie, Prairie, View. Prairie View. How many of your sisters do you think they virgins over there? Oh, Hell no. Most school. of us, is, that's a party, that's a party school, right? Yeah. So what do you think is going on over there? What do you think brothers is doing? Enticing women. Right. You know what you know another word for enticing women is? Running game. Right. Don't we like to do that? Sis. How you got with him? He was, he was running game. <laughs> right or wrong? Right? I mean, brother, how many sisters you ever been with, you had to run game, right? What's good? You know what I'm saying? You had the eye contact. You you looking fresh. She looking goody eye. What do you think happens? Y'all start talking. Wow. Let's not play games here. I'm 41 years old. Before I, did, before I knew this, I was doing that. If I saw a woman I wanted her, I'm going to get her. I knew already how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I already knew how to do the game. You make her laugh. She start laughing too much, you're like, oh, I got her in the bag. You know what I'm saying? You go out and chill with her, she smoke good as hell. She be like, oh, no, let's not chill this Friday. Let's chill next Friday. You know why? Because she probably got her period. Right. She gonna wait till she not on her period the day you're gonna chill. Right. And hey, what time you gotta go home? Oh, I don't, I don't care. Where you wanna go? I don't care. You know what she's telling you? She wanna lay down with you already. That's but right. we're not supposed to do those things. Right. That's why I had to repent. I don't, I don't glory in that stuff because I was a fool. But I thank the Lord he changed my thought process. Read it again. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. You see that? That is not betrothed. You know why? Because the father had to know. If the father's supposed to be like, hey, what's your, how old is your son? Okay, how old, he's 25, 20, okay. He goes to school, okay. What's his career? And, and, and you hear instead, okay, how about my daughter? How old is your daughter? She's like 24. Then you have an arrangement with that man. That's the way we did it back in the day. Both fathers knew each other. He wasn't just no random stranger. Do you see that going on with us now? Hell no. 
And I'm gonna tell you something. I could tell you this. When I was growing up back in the day, and I was running game, and I know I ain't want that sister, you know one person I ain't want to meet? I ain't want to meet her father. Mm. Cause you know what he'll tell you? He'll call you on your BS, right? What he'll tell you, yo, you better take care of my daughter right. or you won't come see me, right? right? How many times you experienced that? And you be like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna take care of you, know, and damn well you lying. Right. Sister, how many times have you ever brought a man to see your father and he's telling your father, I'm gonna take care of her? <laughs> you ever had a man tell you that? You ever, met a, you ever had a man tell you you beautiful? Yeah. Is he still with you? No. You see that? That's, that, 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 see, that's wrong. Right. A black man should not do that to our sisters. Right. An Israelite man shouldn't do that to our sisters. That's right. That's why we got to come back to our heritage. So if a man is to compliment you, it's to not hit, you, hit it and keep it moving. That's not how the Lord got down. That's not holy in his sight. Watch, read. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. Because you wrong for doing it. So now you lie with her. Look what the Lord says. He shall surely. Maybe. And surely. Maybe. Surely. You know what surely means? You have no other choice. This is the next move. And thou her to be his wife. To be his what? His wife. No, my boo. His wife. My girl. His wife. My shorty. His wife. His wife. Is she your wife? Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> and you know what you're doing? You're doing her dishonor and to the Lord first and foremost. You're supposed to marry that sister. You're supposed to marry her. Because you know why? Because you're an Israelite. That's right. There should be no, let me tell you now, there should not be one Israelite walking the earth with a woman unless that's his wife. That's, that's right. right. That's why you go on the islands, it's tradition. I'm going to tell you something, in Haiti, it's tradition. For you, if you sleep with that sister, you better marry her. Right. The father of that woman will say, I'll pay for the wedding because in the islands, it looks, it's a disgrace to the father to have a woman walking down the street with kids and there's no marriage. That's a disgrace to a father. And you don't marry that woman, bro. You know, Haiti, some of the father will get soft, say they'll kill you. They would rather see you dead than with they, than with they daughter because you're doing him a dishonor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bro, yo, our sisters that's walking down the street, they all have a father. And doesn't the Bible say, honor thy father and mother? You're not honoring your parents if you out here parading your behind. That's right. That's not our heritage. Wow. We're not supposed to be doing those things. We're supposed to be doing what the scriptures say. <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. 